Hello, and welcome to Read Along with Heather. Today, we will be reading Oh Say Can You Say by Dr. Seuss. Said a book reading parrot named Huey. The words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and back flips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Good advice, Huey. I'm going to read this slowly. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fi fine at Finney's di Diner. Finney also has some fresher fish that's fresher and much finer. But his best fish is his freshest fish. And Finney says with pride, The finest fish at Finney's is my freshest fish, French fried. So, don't order the fresh or the fresher fish. At Finney's, if you're wise, you'll see. He'll say, fetch me the finest fresh fried freshest fish that Finney fries. Din's Shin. We have a dinosaur named Din. Din's thin. Din doesn't have much skin. And the bones fall out of his left front shin. Then we have to call in Pinner Blin. Who comes with his handy shin pin bin. And with a thin blin shin bone pin. Blin pot pins shins shin bone. Pins in shin bones right back in. The bed spreader and the bread spreader. Bed spreaders spread spreads on beds. Bread spreaders spread butters on bed breads and that bed spreader better watch out how he's spreading or that bread spreader is sure going to butter his bedding ate cakes great cakes as he gobbled the cakes on his plate the greedy ape said as he ate, The greener green grapes are, The keener keen capes are, To gobble green grape cakes. They're great! Are you having trouble saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in my mirror and see what I say, And then I just say what I see. Good advice. Now let's talk about money. You should leave your grocks home when you travel by air. If you take them along, they charge you double the fare. And your grocks must be packed and locked up in a grocks box, which costs much, much more than a little old fox box. So it's heaps, in a lot, heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all the money on boxes for grocks. And what do you think costs more? A simple thimble or a single shingle? A simple thimble could cost less than a single shingle would, I guess. So I think the single shingle should cost more than the simple thimble would. If you'd like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper chips, I suggest you chew a few chips and chop at skipper zips clipper chip Chip, chip, chop, shop. And if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up. The next one's easy. I sure hope. There are so many things you re that you really should know. And that's why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know the first names of the Flood Nutter brothers. Who like to pile each on the head of the others. If you start at the top, there are Bipper and Bud. And Skipper and Jipper, and Jeffrey and Thud, Horatio Horse, and Hendrix and Hud, and then come Dinwood, D and Dinty and Dud, and also Fitz, Fitzsimmon and Frederick and Fud, and Slinky and Stinky and Stuart and Stud, and down at the bottom is poor little Lud, but if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. We have two ducks. One blue, one black, 
So when our blue duck goes quack quack, our black duck quickly quack quacks back. The quacks blue quacks makes her quite a quacker, but black is a quicker quacker backer. And speaking of quacks, reminds me of cracks. And stacks and sacks and shacks and snacks. So, oh say can you say, I have cracks in my shack, I have smoke in my stack, and I, I think there's a snack, snack on the sack on my back. West East and East Beast. Upon an island hard to reach, the East Beast sits upon his beach. Upon the West Beach sits the West Beast. Each beach beast thinks he's the best beast. Which beast is best? Well, I thought at first that the East was best and the West was worst. Then I looked again from West to the East, and I liked the beast on the East Beach least. Pete Briggs packs pigs. Briggs packs pink pigs. Briggs packs pig bigs. Don't ask me why. It doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pig pig. Big pig patter. Pete Briggs pats his pig pigs all day. Don't ask me why. I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away. And his Pete pig Briggs is pink pigs. Big pigs pig pen. Fritz needs Fred, and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz feeds Fred, and Fred feeds, feeds Fritz. Fred feeds Fritz with Fritzy Fred food. Fritz feeds Fred with Fritzy Fritz food. And Fritz, when fed, has often said, I'm a Fred fed Fritz, and Fred's a Fritz fed Fred. How to tell a gloss from a gloss, a clots from a gloss. Well, the gloss you will notice has a lot of black spots. The clots is quite different with lots of black dots. But the big problem is that the spots on a gloss are about the same size as dots on a clots. So you first have to spot who, who the one with the dots is. Then it's easy to tell who the clots or the gloss is. Be when you grow up? A cop in a cop's cap? Or a cupcake cook in a cupcake cook's cap? Or a flat, fat, flat jack flapper in a flat, flat jack cap? Or if you think you don't like cops' caps, flat jack flappers, or cupcake cook's caps, maybe you're the one of those choosy cap chaps who likes those cookie captain's caps, perhaps. More about Blynn. Well, when Blynn comes home tired from his work pinning shins, the happiest hour of old Blynn's day begins. Mr. Blynn is the father of musical twins, who tucking twin instruments under twin chins lull their daddy to sleep with twin Blynn violins. And, oh say can you say, far away in Berlin, a musical urchin named Gretchen von Schwinn has a blue-footed, true-footed, Trick fingered, slick fingered, six finger, six string, tin twin mandolin. Rope soap, hope hoop soap. If you hope to wash off, wash soup off with a rope, simply scrub it with scrope. Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long. But if you should wish to wash soup off a hoop. I suggest it's best to let your whole silly souped up hoop soak in Soapy Cooper's Super Soup Off Hoops Soak Suds. Merry Christmas, Mush. One year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas Mush to Munch, but I don't think you'd care for such. We didn't like to munch mush much. And speaking of Christmas, 
Here are some great gifts to give your daddy. If your daddy's name is Jim, and if Jim swims, and if Jim's slim, then the perfect Christmas gift for him is a set of J Slim Jim swim fins. But if your daddy's name is Dwight, and he likes to look at birds at night, the gift for Dwight that might be right is a bright Dwight fur bird flight night sight light. But never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus with whiskers is not a good pet. And a walrus with whispers is worse even yet. When a walrus wisps whispers through tough, rough what whiskers, your poor daddy's ear will get blispers and bliskers. And that's almost enough for s of such stuff for the day. Well, more and you're finished. Oh, say, can you say? The storm starts when the drops start dropping. When the drops stop dropping, then the storm starts stopping. And that's the end of Oh Say Can You Say.